Hey, how you doing? This is Guy Concept Podcast, episode number five. I'm your host, Mr. Pagan. How was your 4th of July? What did you do? Did you enjoy it? You want to leave comments? You can go on Spotify and leave comments. Or leave comments on my Twitch page, where I be game streaming, or YouTube, where I be game streaming, or whatever. Yeah, man. My 4th of July was nice. Got to spend it with my kids and everything. You know? Love doing that type of stuff. That was a beautiful thing. Trying to do trying to do multiple things. You know, I'm wearing multiple hats here. You know? Trying to develop the art of actually manifesting my intellectual property. You know, I did a um a brief short video about that earlier about manifesting your intellectual property and I keep on expounding on that because it's very important that we don't get lost in the everything in the everyday things. I see so many people out here getting lost in the everyday things. They get lost in their mind, they get lost in their feelings and emotions. They get lost in their personal attachments to people, places, and things. And I just don't understand it. You know, I, I do understand it to a certain to a certain point, but in a natural aspect, in a in a, in a person who's of sound mind and body, of a person who's a people watcher and who like to study and observe, you know, what I don't understand. And what I, what I, what I, uh, the synopsis I came up with is that, you know, people just get caught up in whatever hobby or habit they have. And they don't ever let that really manifest into something that's going to sustain them for the rest of their life. You know, I was getting caught up in the same thing. For a long time, I was getting caught up in the same thing, getting caught up in, you know, personal obstacles that I never even put in my own way. That's the amazing thing about it. It's like you would have to get over a hurdle to 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 reach a goal that you never even put there. You never put this hurdle there. Who the hell put the hurdle there? You know, who's the hurdle master? <laughs> Who? Who created this hurdle that I got to get over to 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 manifest my dream, to 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 live my goal or, or achieve my highest heights, you know? And it's sometimes it's ourself, sometimes it's our subconscious, sometimes we consciously do it because we're attracted to certain things or certain people, or or have certain habits or have certain hobbies that attract these 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 objects or these different things into our, our gravitational pull and it just it it hinders our manifestation but it also creates an environment where you can become a little bit more adverse in the way you look at the world the way you you know the way you envision things the way your art comes out whatever you're trying to create Whatever, however that comes out, it's created by the things that you go through in these experiences. But you cannot allow yourself to get caught in those states or in those places or indulging in those objects, people, places, or things for too long. Because if you do, you'll lose focus on where you're trying to get to. You'll lose focus on that goal that you had in mind. You'll lose focus on that dream that you're chasing. You know what I mean? We from Philly, man. Everybody got a dream that they're chasing. This is the home of the dream chasers. This is Philly. You know? City of brotherly love. You know? Home of the Philly cheesesteaks. We are creators. We all manifest things. You know, imagine if, 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 if the person never made the cheese state. You know what I mean? 
You would never have that busting ass cheese steak with the fries on the side. You feel me? Like, you would never experience that if, if somebody didn't blaze the trail of chopping up that goddamn beef on that bun and adding some cheese and some spices. A little light mayo, salt, pepper, ketchup, the little hot seed flakes, you know what I'm saying? You would have never got that if you wouldn't have did that and had that thought. These greedy ass had that thought of busting down a steak. <laughs> it's like, it don't get no better than that. You know what I mean? To, to, to be a creator, to be, to be a pioneer. That's what that man is. He's the pioneer of the cheesesteak. And I'm the pioneer of what I'm creating. You know, I'm coming out with these books talking about morals and values. You know, out of pure desperation to leave my kids something more than just any type of money I could accumulate, any type of property that I could amass. I want to leave them a legacy of showing them if you follow your dreams and really pursue your goals and you be a dream chaser, no matter what degree of doctrine you have, you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. There's really no gatekeepers. The only gatekeepers are in your mind. You are your own gatekeeper. Wake up. Wake up. We create these situations that block us from what we have to do. What the creator put us here to do, we block our own blessings, man. By having our willings and dealings out here in the world. This is what we do to ourselves. We block our own blessings, you know? And living our life, man, it's a bunch of pros and cons, right? We deal with who we deal with and experience what we got to experience because we're, inc we're inquisitive as people should be. We're inquisitive. You want to know the unknown. You want to wa wonder why this is how it is. Why is this how this is? Why is that how that is? Curious George out this joint. You know what I mean? And you can't help that. You really can't help being that curious. You know, they say curiosity killed the cat, but that's only the case if you're not curious with a, with a, with a slight state of positivity behind it. You know what I mean? You gotta be positive in any endeavor you, 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 you indulge in. Even if you're curious about something, you don't go into a curious situation that you're, you're filling yourself out. You're filling somebody out. You're filling the situation out, right? You don't go into that situation bringing negativity to the situation. You don't go in trying to debo the situation. See, that's why I got a nomadic state of mind. Cause I come in humble. I always come in humble. Cause I don't know what situation I'm gonna get into. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, because I'm purely there just as an observer. I'm merely an observer. That's what all of us are. When you really bake, break it down and get down to the brass, grass root of everything, you're an observer. God's wrist, if you will. The wrist of God. We all have a bit of God in us. And if we do, and if we're an instrument of God, and if God is using us as like a paintbrush, bristles to stroke the Kansas of life, are we not the wrist of God? We're observers. We're here to observe. So observe, don't disturb. And just let everything flow. It moves naturally. You know what I mean? Like the sands under the sea, it moves naturally. It's just a flow to everything. It's an art to everything we do in life. That art is a part of that intellectual property that I'm speaking of, that you have in you, all of us have in us. You know, 
I tell family and friends, if we're having a deep conversation, if you ever had a deep conversation with me, if you know me, you know, right? That I believe everybody has a book. Everybody has a book to write. Whether you want that book to be personal about you, whether you want that to be uh, your memoirs or, you know, the adventures of such and such and, you know, whoever you are. But you always, everybody have a book to write. Everybody should have their story out there. You could publish that story. You never know. Your novel or your memoirs or your documentary or whatever might be a best-selling novel. Should you die without your life being documented? That's how I look at it. That's a great way to look at it. That's the duality of a thing. Because I'm a secretive type of person. I'm not going to lie. I do not. I can't stand people being in my business. I swear. That shit gets under my skin. And I don't mean to swear because I don't like to swear. The creator knows I do not like people in my business. I'm a very personal, personal person. And that's because I rock under the folklore laws of America. And under those folklore Lord, uh, laws of America, I'm entitled to my, to my privacy. I'm entitled to my freedom. My freedom, of, my freedom of mind, my freedom of speech, and my freedom of privacy. My freedom of free space, my free space. And that's what I'm exercising. I'm exercising being a boss of me. You can't, like, you can't work for nobody your whole life, your entire life. And I want to instill that in people, man, because we need that. We need more people. We need more pioneers, you know, but but we must remember, too, you got to be a good chief. I mean, you got to be a scratch that you got to be a good Indian before you could be a good chief. A lot of people out here, they, they try to play this leader role before they're able to play the leader role. You got to be a good Indian before you be a good chief. A lot of people don't know how to follow instruction. Now, once you're a man of, of good moral values and character, and once you really got a good head on your shoulder where you could navigate your way self, you, you can navigate your way through life on your own, then you can start making them decisions on your own. You could, you could go from being an Indian to being a chief, a chief of you. But you got to appoint yourself a chief. Can't nobody else do that. You got to appoint yourself a boss. Can't nobody else do that. That's what God concept is about. It's about your God concept. Whatever, whatever that it factor it is to you. If you could dunk a ball, dunk that shit the best you can. If I could do whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to put it out there. I don't care if nobody don't like it. I don't care if you laugh, if you cry, if it make you want to, you know, if it make you, you know, if it make you happy, that's good. If it's literature that, that inspires somebody, that's good. That's all I want to do is put out good, positive energy. Everything I'm doing is coming from a pure, creative, artistic space. And I'm sensitive about my shit, as Erica Badu would say. <laughs> I am. I am. Who, who's not? You put out literature. If I see a flaw in it, yeah, I'm going to grind myself up. I'm, a, I'm my own worst critic. So there's nothing anybody could say about anything that I'm producing that I haven't already said already. You know what I mean? You see, it's, it, the, the thing is, a lot of people is is afraid of being criticized or I like I like constructive criticism. You know why? Because it builds character. It, it allows you to grow if you allow it to let you grow. Some people take it in a negative way and they stop growing. They let constructive criticism stunt their growth in whatever 
whatever endeavor they're doing, stunt them from gaining that proficiency in whatever endeavor they, they're, they're indulging in. You can't let constructive criticism stunt your growth from growing whatever brand or market you're trying to dive into. You got to let that shit listen. Let it flow. Let it go and let it flow. You know something I love doing, right? I love talking to people about what I'm trying to do. Like, I only do it, like, if, if I let them close. If I'm trying to get to know you or whatever, or if I'm trying to fill you out, I'm an open book. You know what I mean? I wear my heart on my sleeve, right? So I don't mind talking about what I'm trying to do. I don't mind telling a person what's going on with me. And part of me doing that, part of me being so open with the person, is because I want to see who they are. I want to see how, if they're a judgmental person, because I don't judge anybody. I want to see what their perception is of me, because I never go into any, like, I won't tell you what's going on with me unless I already got it figured out. You know what I mean? I already Sometimes pretty much had things figured out. It might not be the right Sometimes decision. It might not be Sometimes whatever. But whatever decision I make, whatever conclusion so I, I come to is right for me. Right? So, especially if it's, if it's something I'm doing. If it's something I'm creating or something I'm doing and I'm telling somebody something about it. And they're acting like, um... You know, how, how people do, how they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear about, you know what I mean, anything you're trying to do. Or if you've done something and you're trying to tell them about it, they don't want to hear nothing about it. Those are the people you need not to tell any of your business to. Any of the business that you're indulging in. I mean, every now and then, if they want to know, you give them a tidbit, this and that. But don't really expound too much on what you're doing. Because they'll take... They'll take away from the creative, from, from what you're trying to create. You know what I mean? Their, their goal, their vision is not the same as yours. They might have something else in store for you, but they're not the creator. You're not here to, to do what they want you to do. You're here to do what the creator appointed you to do. And that's whatever... Whatever, whatever talent or whatever ability you have, you're using that. That's the creator, what the creator gave you to be able to sustain yourself in this life. It was a time we operated on the barter system. Back before it was any greenbacks or money floating around. It was a barter system. You did what you were good at for me and I did what I was good at for you, right? People don't honor that no more. I still honor that, you know what I mean? If I do something for you and I genuinely love you or respect you, normally I say, you know, just give me what, what you feel as if, give me what you think is fair. If I'm doing a job for you, I'll tell you. Give me what you feel as if it's fair for the job that I've done for you. And normally when I do that, it's just because I'm filling out the type of person you are. Because see, some, some people will underappreciate or undervalue what you do. Mm. Let me say that again. Some people in your life will underappreciate and undervalue what you do. And it's a shame because it'd be the closest people to you. It'll be your mother, your brother, your your wife, your sister, your your, your uncle, your, your 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 mom, your neighbor, be anybody. You know what I mean? Your aunt. Don't matter who it is. I'm telling you, even your own children, they will try to down you about what you're doing. Now, don't get me wrong. My kids would never do that to me. And I would never do that to my kids because I don't like stunting the growth of somebody's creation because you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to encourage and inspire. 
You know what I mean? But that's why you, you always have to be around like-minded people. You have to have like-minded people. If you're talking to somebody about what you're trying to achieve, what you're, what you're bringing to fruition, about what you're manifesting in this life, you have to only talk to like-minded people about those things. Don't get too in deep. Don't get too in depth about what you're doing with somebody who's not like-minded, who don't have the same vision in mind as you. Seriously. Because it's detrimental to what you're trying to do. It's detrimental to what you're trying to manifest. Do not talk about your dreams and visions with people that just want to hinder, hinder your dreams and visions. The envious. The envious, the jealousy, the hate, the adversarialness, the foolishness, the buffoonery of a person trying to cripple a creator. Because we all are creators of the creator. The creator put us here to create. Who am I not to do so? It behooves you to put any ideas or any visions that you have to work. Or you'll have to work for somebody else for the rest of your life. I'm just giving you real spill. You know? Gillian Wallow, man, they giving y'all a million dollars worth of game, and that's real shit. I'm doing the same, but my show ain't called Million Dollars Worth of Game. <laughs> this is God Concept, and they got that. They got the God Concept. I got the God Concept. I'm, I'm, I'm blazing. I'm pioneering my thing, just like they, just like they did in their time, and they still doing, and they building their brand. Bigs up, big, big up to them guys. Big up to them guys. Because honestly, man, people give you these blueprints and people give you these, this advice and people give you this positive energy that, that we supposed to use, man. I'm using that energy. I'm using that energy that I get. I'm using that energy that I receive, that positive energy. If you giving me positive energy, I'm there for you because that's all I'm giving out. All I'm giving out is positive energy, positive vibes. If I feel the energy ain't real, then I'm not there. I'm gone. I'm ghost. I don't play that. You know what I mean? No matter what I'm doing, if it's not no type of positivity involved in it, I'm not there. I can't stand for that. You can put me in any atmosphere, I'm going to light up the room because that's what I do. And if I can't do that, then I'd rather just disappear. Let me move on and I'm going to go over here and shine somewhere else. You know, I'm like a lightning bug. My my light go my light flickers on and off. You know what I mean? If I feel like you 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 off, then my light's off. If you want, hey, guess what? I'ma shine. I'ma shine because I see you gonna shine. I'ma shine because I see you can shine. I'ma shine because I wanna see you shine. And if I see you not trying to shine with me, then I'ma just go shine somewhere else. That's my God. That's my God concept, to be honest with you. I look at our souls as uh as lights. You know, God is like, you know, like like the brightest, like the old, like the like the brightest light. The brightest beam of light, right? So bright you can't even look at it. And our our souls are mini miniature miniature lights, right? Like a light bulb. They got different wattages, right? So though the creator's watt the the creator's wattage right is infinite our wattage has a limit to it but if we could make it through this life without hatred in our heart and without you know without with without <laughs> i don't want to say good outweighing the bad because i don't believe in right or wrong i don't believe in good and bad i believe in appropriate and inappropriate right so that being said, our lights can shine as, as bright as we let them. 
But if we just do mundane things and we if we get stuck at a random nine to five and we never really let our intellectual property show, if we never do the things that the creator appointed us to do, that light never continues to get brighter and brighter. That light just stays dim. And if your light is dim, you never could could really ascend to, to your full potential. I mean, don't get me wrong, you could be a good person, you know, and your light will, will gradually grow brighter and brighter. But that's all according to what you're supposed to manifest, manifest in this life. You got to achieve that goal in your life or you'll continue to repeat the cycle over and over again. That's if you're worthy of even repeating the cycle over again. Why not just get it right so you can transcend to the next level of life when this one is complete, right? Do whatever you're supposed to do when you're here. Do whatever you're supposed to do. You know? That's what it's about. Getting with like-minded people. And when you do that, you could link up. You know, everybody's light could link up. And y'all could ascend, y'all could transcend to the next level of life together. Y'all could transcend to the next level of life while you living here on this earth. What was that? That's called freedom. That's called cre- being, being a creator. Manifesting. Just like the creator manifested you. You gotta manifest. You gotta manifest greatness in your children. You gotta manifest greatness in your life. However that is, however you see fit to do that, wherever you at in your life, it don't matter. You don't need degrees. You don't need certificates. You don't got to graduate from nobody's college. All you got to do is do it. Everybody wear the Nikes and track suits and all this shit. Okay, you wear that shit, just do it. What are you doing? You wearing that shit, the slogan is right there, right? Just do it. I don't care where you at in life. You might not know me. You might not know where I'm at in life. Everything ain't peachy keen in my life. Everything ain't peachy keen for me in my life. But guess what? I'm going to make it better. I'm going to make my kids' life better. I'm going to make my family life better. I'm going to make my my connection with my creator better. By creating something that will sustain that no man could take from me. That's what it's about. See, a lot of these things, we get caught up in material things and material wealth and the value of what we have, right? But at any moment, all this shit could be taken away. All this shit in one foul swoop can be taken away from us. The only thing that can't is what we create ourselves. That had to fight tooth and nail to take something from me. Whatever I'm monetizing, whatever I'm putting out there, whatever I'm creating, is mine, right? I will fight tooth and nail for what I create, for what I manifest, for what I monetize, for the legacy that I'm trying to build. I will fight tooth and nail for that because it's my intellectual property. And I willed it as my weapon. I willed it as my wealth. That's what it's about, man. Your health is wealth. Health is wealth. Part of health is mental, mental freedom, physical freedom, spiritual freedom. That's what I'm creating. That's what I want to create for my kids. And that's what we should be trying to create for each other, too. Because I don't just want that for me and my family. I want that for you and yours as well. That's the whole purpose of everything that we do, right? That's the God concept. You can catch it or you can't. That's the purpose of God concept. You know? That's been tonight's episode. Um, stay tuned for these commercial breaks.
Hey, real quick, guys. This Mr. Pagan here. Just want to let y'all know that I have books available on Amazon, Kindle, bookstores, and on your phones. I got two great titles available and a third one coming soon. My philosophy is, if you got a smartphone or a smart device, you already got my book in your hands. It's free for download if you got Kindle Unlimited, and it's $5 otherwise. For uh, One Leap of Faith, it's 5 bucks, and for my book, Morals and Values, it's five twenty-five. Both of them are packed with insightful information on morals and values, and One Leap of Faith is to push you to, to, to get on your grind for your goals. You know what I mean? Two powerful books. I got a thriller coming up called Moonlit Martians with a, a character, the protagonist is Marshall Cuts, and he's trying to uh, get his way, uh, he's trying to find his way out of Louisiana without getting himself uh, hurt or killed or something. This is a great suspenseful book. Please check it out. It's going to be on Amazon Kindle Store. Remember, both these books are available for free. One Leap of Faith and Morals and Value. You've got Kindle Unlimited. They're available for free. And also, don't forget to check out my game stream on YouTube, Gaming Vaping Guns. And on Twitch, I'm GVG215. All right? And also, my music streams on all streaming platforms. Whether you got Apple, is there. Whether you got Tidal, guess what? Is there listen on Spotify? Yeah, I'm on Spotify. This podcast is actually on Spotify, also the music. So yeah, we we well rounded. Everything that I'm doing is complimenting each other. So please support the movement, support my brand, support the positive energy that I'm putting out there. And you guys be blessed. May peace be with you.